My name's Nate and this is Heavy Pedal Garage. Today, we're gonna work on the center console for this 1975 Firebird, but the things we're gonna do here could apply to any second gen F body or any other car with a center console for that matter. So we're gonna do some custom work on this thing to be able to adapt some speakers into it. And we're also gonna wrap this thing in vinyl and make it look sweet. So stick around to the end so that you can see how nice this thing looks. It's gonna match the rest of the upholstery that we did. If you haven't seen the past video on the dash where we wrapped it in this same marine grade vinyl, you might wanna go check that out after this one. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. If this is gonna be any good, it's gonna be worth it to hit that button. So check it out. So up front, you guys know, if you've dealt with these F bodies, you just have the one single speaker. Well, I'm gonna delete that. I've already deleted that. And I've been looking at a way to kind of get my other two six and a halfs up here. You could cut the doors up. Don't want to do that. Don't want to run wires through the jams. Kick panels. There's really not a whole lot of room to do anything there unless you bump the speaker out away from the kick panel. Not really looking forward to that. And the best thing I can come up with is to install them in the center console here. So we'll see how all this goes. But basically... I've been kind of mocking this up, and I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut that out right there. And then um, we're gonna retain this part of the rivet mount bracket. Some of this will get cut through, but we'll still have the one hole there, the one rivet to hold that bracket together. We may fortify it if we need to, but we're just gonna put a speaker on either side there. So this console's in pretty good shape other than this crack right here. And I got, I guess, some cigarette burns right here. This is going to get wrapped in the same vinyl I did the dash. So I'm not even sure if I'll even need to screw this in. It may fit really tight. It's kind of snug now, but it, it may fit really tight once I get some vinyl in there that press fit, right? Okay, the next step towards mocking this thing up is going to be to get this center console lined out. So I used some of the packing cardboard. It already had the correct inner diameter circle from uh, the packing and then I made the outer diameter. So we'll just kind of line this up like I was saying earlier with where I want it to go on here. I'm gonna mark out the other side here and then uh, we'll be able to use a jigsaw to cut it out. my side over here figured out. I just wanted to fortify this a little bit after I drilled my holes. So I basically took some steel and then some rod and, and got my template going to hold my speaker. Slide right in there. It'll have a good surface to bolt to, not just this plastic outside stuff. And then over here, I kind of got, got it to where I'm going to start welding this in. Oh, and I did use a rivet back here to kind of get this metal held. And then when I do my screws for the speakers, that'll kind of suck all of that in together too. So should be pretty cool. this side it's a little short on that piece of metal but this side's looking a little bit better none of it matters because it's gonna get covered in vinyl and then these speaker covers are gonna completely cover it but I got some rod in here to tie this factory bracket to this factory bracket that wasn't done before it was just all held together with this flimsy plastic and then I got a few little tabs in here that I welded in just to kind of hold the bracket to this bracket and some rivets 
but speaker slides in nice. And then the cover pretty much covers everything that's under there. So by the time this gets wrapped in vinyl, should be a pretty good deal right there. So there they are installed. Of course, when I do all of this, we're gonna shoot some spray paint on there and get that all tuned up, but let's check it out in the car. Of course, you gotta get all my wires tucked up in there, but I think that'll be pretty cool, especially when that's all black, you really won't see them because it'll blend in. As you can see, it's snowy and cold outside. Heavy pedal garage is frigid. I'm here in the basement and uh, down in a spare bedroom. So we're gonna try to get something done. And I was saying, it's hard to be motivated, but you just, for me, I just try to do little things and get started on something. Just do something when you have a chance and can break away. So we're down here where it's warm and we're gonna keep working on this console. So what we're gonna move towards here is getting it in vinyl. But before we do that, I wanna clean it up. I wanna paint the metal parts with some black to seal all those in. And then there's a few little imperfections on here that we're gonna have to fill in with some body filler. I learned from the dash that even though this material is kind of thick and has a nice backing on it, it's uh, still you know not thick enough to hide certain blemishes. So we're gonna take care of those as well. But let's get this thing cleaned, painted, and we'll get some body filler in those little blemishes. So now we're just gonna put some tractor paint on there. This came from Tractor Supply. And uh, no, it's not old smoky blackberry. It's black tractor paint. So I put it in this jar because of the one gallon can wasn't sealing right, but we'll put a little hooch on this console. It'll be all right. So we got it all painted up, pretty happy with that. But I got to thinking about these imperfections here. Instead of using filler, I think I'm gonna change gears on you. So I ordered these from Amazon. And I think we're gonna go ahead and try to make these fit. And I've already kind of mocked it up on the car, so it shouldn't have any problems with the gear shift or the dash. I just need to get them back this way as far as I can. So we're gonna go ahead and get these marked out. And I'm gonna to try to use a razor knife to cut these in little crude but it works got those in there nice so like i said it got a little bit of overhang here but i think once we get the vinyl on we'll see where we're at but also they're a little loose in there so i can either do something from underneath to kind of hold them in or maybe once the vinyl i'll wrap some vinyl down in here and give it a little more of a tighter press fit but that's where we ended up on that. I think that's going to work out pretty well. So I don't know why they didn't have cup holders in the 70s. I guess you could smoke in your rig, but you certainly couldn't uh, have a big Slurpee or something. So I got my vinyl. I'm going to get ready to kind of lay out a piece that I'm going to use. But if you haven't seen my dash video, go check that out because I use the same material. And I'm going to do all my hard parts inside the car with this vinyl. So I just bought this at the local Harvey, hobby store, which was Joanne Fabrics. Really wasn't that expensive. I think for the whole car, with the discount I got for being a member, it was gonna be like 70 bucks I got this whole roll for, which should do everything, including the door panels, I think. But this is a marine grade vinyl. It's got a really nice textured print in it, nice backing. It's kind of have a heavier weight, but it's two-way stretch. I'm pretty sure it's only two-way, so. Um, it does have some stretch in the other way, the other dimension, but it really stretches, uh, you know, whatever, left to right, the way we're looking at it now. They do make a four-way vinyl that stretches in four different ways, and that would probably be a little better for getting around some of these corners and stuff. But I've been looking at this and thinking about this, and I think I can get this 
to look pretty decent because the dash was super complicated. This isn't too bad. These turns right here are gonna be probably the trickiest. And then right in here, it's gonna be pretty tricky. But I'll put a link in the description for an upholsterer. He does car upholstery. And I think you would say it's Cechafalo, C-H-E-C-H-A-F-L-O, I think. Kind of looks like an old school dude, been around for a while. Look at his hands. You can tell he's been doing the work, but he's got a lot of good things on his web page and also his YouTube channel. If you want to kind of watch somebody do this work professionally, which is what I've done, and I watch a bunch of his stuff and others, and I just download it into my brain so that when I go to do it, hopefully, you know, my techniques are sort of mimicking the pros, but that's how I do it. So check the description for that dude. And I'm going to go ahead and get this laid out and get my template going. Okay, so I got my piece cut. And if you're going to use this two-way stretch, you may think about how this is going to wrap. So I put my stretch so that it stretches this way. Because I'm going to have to be pulling that down on both sides. There's not going to be a whole lot of stretch going the length of this thing. So that's why I put the stretch going in this direction. So, um, I think I'm going to do this in sections. I've watched that Sachafalo guy do things in sections and it seems to work out really nice because you can position and stretch. And, uh, I think starting up here is going to be the way to go. So I'm going to try to get my plan together and bring you guys along here. Okay. So now that I got everything centered up. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this opening here so that I can make some relief cuts, which is gonna help allow me to wrap all this around. Okay, let's see how that looks. So I'll probably give myself a little extra when I cut, I'll cut inside the line because I want to be sure I have enough to flap in on the edges. Although this gets that box that slides in there and there's a lip that should cover things. But So now we'll just kind of get this up on that bracket. Look out where that's got to be. Okay. So I think... You can actually cut something like that. Yeah, that's looking good. And we'll cut a little diagonal relief in there. Okay. So I'm going to keep this extra and then we'll know how to flop it over and cut it off once it's good. Okay, so I've got my marks all lined out where I'm going to put glue and I'm just going to lock this section in right here first. And this is what I'm going to use, the Weldwood Contact Cement. I kind of talked about this in that dash video, but they also make a HHR, which is a high heat resistance Weldwood Contact Cement for I think they talk about Landau tops and stuff, but I looked at the tech sheets for this and this actually has a heat resilience up to 180 and the HHR was only up to 150 degrees. So I'm not sure what's up with that. So I'm just gonna use this. You can buy it at your local hardware store. Make sure that you have plenty of ventilation because this stuff really does stink. And in fact, you know, on the warning label, it uh, talks about making sure you shut off any flame sources and all of that stuff because the vapors could be a problem however you can mitigate that with a fan so when i'm not filming i'll be turning that fan on to evacuate some of these fumes so let's get this uh, glue on there because you coat both sides of the material and then you gotta let it set until it's tacky before it'll work So we're tacky and I got my heat gun here. OK, 
case we need it for this. And then one of the things you'll run into is the ends want to curl as the glue's drying, so I just use these little clips or whatever you can. Keep it from curling up on you. So this ought to go just like this. So I'm just going to work it up in sections. And you can unstick this a little bit at a time to get it where you want it. Put some heat to get this little nub, little corner curled in. You don't use too much heat though, because you can actually uh, alter the print on the vinyl. It'll kind of melt. Okay, so now I think I'm going to get this side done. I was thinking about doing the top, but in order to get this to this, this corner right here to curl down, we may have to get a little bit of an angle like that. So I'm going to lock this in later. Okay, so I wrapped this down and around and made my mark. So this is no glue because of the speaker opening. And this is no glue because it's gonna end up right in here. And then I got a diagonal right here to where I stop gluing. So, and then I'll do all of this section here. So let's get that glue spread and then we'll get it to tack up and get that going. So I was waiting on this other side to to tack up, I went ahead and spread some glue over here. So this is tacking up now. Let's see how this goes. I'm thinking this little bend right here is the hard part. Remember, I got my vinyl set up to stretch in that direction. So I'm able to just kind of work this corner down in and that's where my trouble spot's gonna be. So that's actually working out pretty good. And now, get this top part stretched up. There we go. Oh, that table's squeaky. Okay, we'll come back to stretching this part. Which now we're in the safe zone because a lot of this is covered by that speaker. Nice. Okay, I think we're at a point now where some relief cuts are going to need to be made. Okay, I am going to try to stretch that down here, but I didn't get any glue on that, so we'll let that, get that glued, let it tack up while we're stretching the other side. Just bounce back and forth here, I guess. Hopefully that was the trickiest part. So we're gonna go ahead and get the top locked in. Get that all covered up. So again, we're just gonna figure out where our glue lines need to be. And you can always second coat this and re-stick it. See, like right here, I'm pulling off what I already did to be able to get back to that line right here so if I was thinking ahead I probably could have made my diagonal lines like this for glue instead of like this but hey I'm a novice I'm just making it happen here okay I think that's tacky enough 
But I'm just going to put you guys on time lapse and we're going to get the whole top locked down here. Okay, so we got this thing flipped over on its back side here, and we're just going to do the same thing. Make our marks here, show where our glue needs to go. All right, and we're just going to repeat the process. go couldn't be happier with how this turned out it's really nice just the look that I was going for the speakers are perfect really really cool and the cup holders I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with the only thing that I think I'm gonna redo is maybe this centerpiece I put some of that carbon fiber print on here the vinyl wrap to match the dash that looks good but I used the pinstriping around the outside that could be redone not a big deal something I can do later on down the road Let's get this car back on the road before we start messing with that stuff. I went ahead and repaired the top of this armrest. These things break. Uh, they're known for that. And uh, if you guys check out the next video, I'm going to show you how to fix this thing as well as wrap it in vinyl. So catch me next time.